All right, ladies and gentlemen, I did another estate sale. This one was another online estate sale, and I got carried away. I only wanted two things on there, and this was these two little pipe wrenches. But everything sold so cheap, I couldn't pass it up. I got $21 in this, and they sold in different lots, like one, these sold for six, one sold for four, one sold for two, and I don't remember how, it, how they were. But I got Proto, Proto wire cutters. They feel pretty good, they, they work. I got uh, Don't Know, I actually believe they're, uh, they're a name brand, but they're in good shape, cutters are in good shape, nothing wrong. These look like bokers. They might be bent. I'm not sure. They're rusty. The cutters are in good shape. I will, uh, I'll clean them up. Another pair here. Uh, I think it says US on it. They're shorties. They're, they're English pair, I think they're called, English style. I don't know. Doesn't matter. I'll clean them up. They'll look good. <coughs> Wild. Pair of adjustable. They need to be clean. They work. They just, they're dirty. They're stiff, right? They got too much dirt down in between. Uh, Craftsman. Now, I don't know if they're bent or if these are supposed to be uh, iron workers pliers. Not sure, but they're Craftsman USA. They're in good shape. Now here's what, these, these are what I wanted. It's a rigid six inch, and then a proto. I believe that's an eight inch. Yeah, they're considering that eight inch. I'll take these apart, clean them up real good. They're, they work, but they're a little slow. I already used this one. I took it to work with me the other day. Yesterday, day before. Uh, I got two uh, vice, people call them vice grips, but that's the brand. This is a whale tool company. I like these jaws. This jaw is a floating jaw. If you've never used one of these, these are kind of cool. I've got one pair already. This makes my second pair. These are cool. Got a, I guess, eight inch springs broke, but you can get springs. I already have some, so I'll fix this up. Seven R, I guess seven inch. Never seen these, so made in Germany. Okay. Whatever, I don't know what they are. Don't, almost look like something they'd use in surgery. And sorry, I keep getting out of the picture. <laughs> uh, hog ring pliers, old school hog ring pliers. Really have no need for them anymore. I have some. Uh, another small pair of pliers, another small pair of pliers. Looks like they're identical. Well, a CT company. Huh. One's older than the other, I think. Yeah, I bet they're both CTs. Clean them up. It's a nice uh, scraper, mud knife. Some people always need these little clamps. I'll clean this up, make it good shape. It it's stiff, but it turns. Another pair. It's a name brand. I can't tell, but it's damaged. Jaws damaged on this one, so. Oh well. Another one of these uh, cheapy wire strippers. It's a general brand. It's like the spring. I bet that spring's broke. I don't know what it's for, but anyways, I'll I'll give them away. Then odds and end stuff. That's junk. <laughs> Still got an old Walmart green sticker on it. Seventy-eight cents. These little dog clips, I'll hang on to them, them chain clips. Those are handy. And then 
I got a bunch of these rings, which these are handy. I keep, I've got a toolbox full of different cleats and hooks, chain hooks, things like I throw them in there. And then the rest of it's just plumbing stuff and then keys for John Deere mower and lawnmower. But anyways, that's what I got for uh, $21.04, which, like I said, it wasn't bad. I, 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 I didn't need all this. I really don't. I got too many pliers as it is now, but I bought these, and since I was having to drive, uh, I don't know, it was like 26 miles to get this stuff, I just went ahead and bought some extra stuff. But these are handy. These, this is the main reason I started bidding was for these two items. And like I said, it's a rigid and one's a proto. And take them apart and clean them, they ought to be in pretty nice shape. I'm really happy to get this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think. Sorry, my video is a little screwy. I can't tell. Sometimes I get too excited from what I'm doing and not paying attention to the video while I'm shooting. But all in all, except for one tool, the rest of it's in pretty good shape. Uh, I don't think I, I couldn't have bought one of these for that money, I don't think. So this pretty much was worth it for me. The rest of it was free is the way I look at it. Uh, these two right here cost $21 if you had to go buy them. Of course, that's the old school style, which most people don't use these. I still do. These kind of pipe wrenches never, never, ever fade away. These come really handy. These little six inches, you can stick these in your pocket and carry it around all day. It's not a big deal. And you can, uh, I use this underneath the sink in a facility I'm remodeling right now. And that's how I was able to tighten the faucets in place. Just enough room for this. And I couldn't get a basin wrench underneath there. Uh, the way the counter was made, it didn't work. So, and I, I just tweaked this a little at a time so it paid for itself already. Anyways, that's enough blabbing. Ladies and gentlemen, tell me what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down and subscribe if you like there's some pliers here that'll make some good videos i'm i'm uh hoping that's a boker i'll look at this and clean it up real good i think i don't know that's bent i'll probably have to try to straighten that up all right guys y'all have a good day